This is casting director Cara Sullivan, one of the head coaches at Talent Agency Guide. I am going to give you a tip of the day. I'm going to take one of the passages from our book and expand on that thought. So here is a quote from Stuart K. Robinson. He is the CEO and agent at Brady, Brandon, and Rich Talent Agency. A headshot is a photograph of your essence, of your quality. So if you don't have headshots that captured a thought or a meaningful moment, how will I know you're an actor that can capture 900 frames of meaningful moments? For example, an ideal is you want your commercial headshot to be one of those 900 frames that would make up a television commercial and have a serious impact and thought. To me, that's a great photo and one that just looks like you with teeth showing is not. Well, I agree. When you take your headshots, this is the time to show those industry professionals that bring you in the door for auditions or that make the decision whether or not to book you that you have a wide range of emotions. Remember, this is the first thing we're going to see is those pictures on your profile. And we want to see, again, that you can display a wide range of emotions and be truthful with those emotions. Don't just rely on the photographer, okay? You're going to have to do your homework. You need to do different expressions in the mirror before you go on your photo session. Do you love, do you hate, do that typical commercial headshot, you know, where you're happy. Uh, do one where you kind of look like that happy parent looking at your kid if you're in that age range of being a parent. If you have a sports specialty, I would say to you, practice those poses in front of the mirror that are going to make sense for the shoot and for headshots. Also, do your research. Go online, see what other professional headshots look like. And you can look at professional headshots of actors that maybe you see on TV all the time. See what they did to get booked. It is up to you to do your research. That starts with finding the right photographer. Make sure you look online at all the photographers that are available and see what their work is like. The other thing is, once you decide on somebody, I would say talk to them for a bit. You know, if you're not gonna gel with your photographer, they're not gonna get the best out of you and the most natural performance when it comes to the photo session because think of the photo session as a performance. Also, go online again and look at different styles of headshots. See what other people are doing and those people that book, see what their headshots look like. All right, that is my tip of the day. There will be more coming. Thanks so much. Bye-bye, all.